Hey guys, this is Stinger from the Ghost Squadron Airsoft team, and today I'm going to be talking about a common point of failure on version 2 AEG gearboxes. Now, there is a uh, little post right here that looks like this on your typical version 2 gearbox, and the point of it is to stop the trigger trolley, the contact trolley right here, from going too far back uh, after you pull the trigger for example in semi-automatic what happens when you pull the trigger is that you use the trigger to push that trolley forward into there and then the cutoff lever lifts it up and pulls it off of the uh, the trigger and the spring that it has pulls it backwards now without having a post there uh, this trigger trolley will go too far back to the point where when you return the position of the trigger it won't be able to grab it because the trolley will be back here and the trigger return point is just about right there so you need that post and I found this out when I was at the uh, first real sim that the bastards hosted on 22nd November 2014 um, because that happened about three-fourths into the day to me that that post right there just broke It's very common to have this happen on a version 2 gearbox where the post will just break especially if you use semi-auto a lot Because every time you pull the trigger that's getting slammed back against it And it's just a tiny little piece of metal even a high quality gearbox like this Lonex shell right here It can even happen on that so if you want to fix it or if you want to be preemptive about it what you can do is Put a hole through there, just drill one, right at that spot, find a uh, correct diameter screw, thread the hole, and put the screw into it, and then what I did is I used a grinder to grind the knob on the back, the, uh, the head of the screw, uh, grind it off, and then make this as flush as possible, because that needs to be completely flat right there for the selector plate to fit. And then I used a Dremel on this side, to take a little bit off of it right there just so that the sector gear could spin by it because this was a little bit too large of a diameter screw so if you mess up you can just use a Dremel to kind of shape it and correct it and this should be much stronger than the way it was stock just because the screw is steel and it's uh, threaded in there very well it's much thicker and it's a uh, much better material than this which is a lot softer so that was a really short video about a common point of failure in version 2 AEGs. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you guys have suggestions for future videos that I should do like this about certain common problems, how to fix certain things, or an explanation of how things function inside of the gearbox, please let me know in the comments um, and I will put those videos into my production queue. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys later. Oh, I'm hit, I'm hit.